All right, guys, um, let's look at a little bit of Zach Wilson, um, quarterback, New York Jets, and his debut um, playing against the Giants. We're going to get a little rollout here with Zach. Throws it with a lot of velocity here, rolling to his right. I really like this throw on a lot of levels. Um, ball just seems to pop out of his hand. Here's Wilson. This is maybe this is one of his poor throws of the game. Um, Davis just didn't get outside the break. And then here is Wilson. Three-step drop. Ball is out. Just the timing is just great. The footwork, he strides well into this throw. Half field read. Gotta love it. I think they had trips to the trips to the left, trips to the left, one right. Throws a perfect ball. Great anticipation. Pretty pretty good throw. It could even be better though. I mean, it can even be more to the sideline, but the timing of it is really really good. And Corey does a nice job rounding there, protecting himself from. Um, Rodarius Williams. Here's Zach Wilson, third and four. Big play, big money down. The Giants here get some pressure. I mean, there he just looks for Davis very, very quickly. I mean, let's go back to this play. Let's slow this play up because this is a huge play. You're going to need these, you know, when, when the bullets start flying week one. Tight red area, third and four. The Giants send four guys. So the Giants then on the back end have seven in coverage. So Zach Wilson here, I mean, the guard gets pushed in the Wilson, 98. So here if you're Wilson, I mean, this is, this is where it gets tough. I mean, Wilson eventually, if he's feeling very comfortable, will try to sliver through here to create a lane and will maybe have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, here. Um you know, the mobility factor. Or Wilson, uh, let's see if he can go through his reads quicker. I mean, here, you know, Isaac Yedim comes in. Kind of a little bit of a hook and hold here for Davis. And just not a good route. And the linebacker of the Giants does an excellent job of just attacking that play, attacking space. And it's a very tough play because if he leads them, the linebacker could could be coming over top, could really make a play on the football. So, um, you know, in a perfect world, you, you would leak it to 25. He would have a one-on-one, -on -one, and it would be his job to get a first down. Let's see here. I mean, Wilson. Wilson could actually immediately – from his coverage immediately I wonder if he can leak this play you know into a screen because this is a screen and then I guess it's a one-on-one -on -one situation they're rushing for eventually you know if he's you know when he can become an elite quarterback he can extend on this play he could step up right here he doesn't have Davis he could step up in the pocket and then it's probably gonna be a touchdown because at that point the defense can't cover for nine seconds or whatever it would be. It would be six seconds. Then you run the scramble drill. First down. Really clean pocket here. Ball gets deflected. But again, that's a safe miss. Got to have safe misses. So no turnovers. Let's see. Protection is excellent. It looks like no one's really getting open. The Giants really have a good defensive line. They do send, I guess, a linebacker through there. Let's see. He comes crashing down, but nobody can separate. I mean, if we had the all-22, it looks like nobody can separate. This is just great defense, honestly, from the Giants. And you're right. If he were to get outside the back door of the pocket, I mean, who knows if he can even get outside the back. He could take a, a more of a loss. That play just had nothing going for it. I don't blame Wilson for releasing the ball like that. Third and nine. Good three by one set with the tight end. 
really good good protection. That looks like it could be Mackay Becton there, who's working one on one. Or seventy one does a nice job of walling up this pocket for Zach to then deliver this throw into a very, very tight space. They're running two slants here in the middle of the field. Let's see if they're running it from their you know, it's it, they're gonna run. They're gonna run it out, and then it's gonna be two slants. So the guy in the middle is running the out, and then the and then the other two guys are running slants. Pretty identical landmarks, and Wilson there. Let's see what he reads. He reads the middle. He can tell that he's gonna have to go to the backside slant. He's gonna have to go to the slant on the outside receiver. Um, because his second receiver on the interior of the three by uh, the three set is covered because there's you know there's there's a lot of traffic there so then he comes through and hits the second one I mean this is a staple of like that th this is the type of play that you watch like um, LSU like like I remember against Georgia they ran this play with Zach Mettenberger and I forget who it was like Cam Cameron the offensive coordinator there. It's just a pro style kind of a play, and again, it's it, it's it's a good play call, and they get it. They get a first down, and that was just a great throw by Wilson. Here you're going to see Wilson in rhythm. Excellent, excellent ball. Receiver does a nice job securing catching going up field. I mean, I really like this play from Wilson. He's on time, and good footwork tight release, and the ball gets on the receiver. That's what you'd love to see. Play action here, rolling out, feed him the ball, does it immediately and with impeccable, impeccable velocity. Impeccable velocity. Watch this in real time. I love how Wilson is taking care of the football here. He's playing a really clean game of football. He's keeping his team in the game. When you're not turning it over, you know, you're giving your team a chance to win. The Giants' defense is just absolutely terrific. I mean, this is the type of game where it's going to be kind of a low-scoring game. The Giants' defense, I think it's going to be a top-five defense in all of the NFL. The Giants here are giving you these underneath kind of throws. I mean, you could go no huddle here to try to expose the Giants. Um, but again, you know, with this off, it just looks like the Giants defense is really, really playing well. Um, and then th this is a great throw. Underneath, you know, third and 14, knowing situation, knowing it's tough. You know, your defense is playing well. And again, not turning it over. I mean, you saw last weekend Zach Wilson, you know, was trying, you know, again, at practice, he's going to press the ball in the tight windows. He he said that he wants to know what he can get away with. And even when Patrick Mahomes was coming out, I remember there was a practice, you know, before he had his MVP season in year two, where many people were doubting if he was the guy. I mean, Patrick Mahomes was Jordan Love, you know, he was treated like Jordan Love. Um, by everybody, you know, by, by, by a ton of people. No one thought that he would be the MVP type of quarterback that he was. And the point was that he made eight interceptions in training camp practice. So people just thought he was reckless with the football and he was going to be that way. But him and Andy Reid, they were figuring out what throws they can get away with. This was a really clean game from Zach Wilson against a really good defense. I'm curious, next game, maybe they get some more protection. Um, and, and maybe they're able to hit some deeper throws down the field, and maybe Wilson could try to extend a little bit, feel a little bit more comfortable. I think we'll start to understand linemen, start to understand the speed of the game more, but this was a really good debut. Got in, was clean, very accurate, a lot of arm strength, mobility, pretty much everything that you want in a quarterback. He checks off all the all the all the check boxes, doesn't put the ball in harm's way, gonna give your team a great chance to win. And again, this is just an appetizer of what Wilson can do. He can even do so much more than what he's gonna show here. This is just preseason game number one. Overall the cleanest performance. I mean he was playing against the ones, against New York Giants defense. He played about the first quarter and, I mean, he kind of had what Trevor Lawrence had. He didn't go deep into the second quarter or deep into the third quarter. Um, but, again, really good to get his feet wet. I like that he's the guy. I like that he's the starter.